Mm -hmm. I mean, it'll be, I think it'll be good. Wow. It's nice out. As you can see, rocking uh, the El Pink boat today. I'm in Texas. The last time you guys saw me, I was hunting in Kansas and then making crappy tip videos in Nebraska. Well, now I'm in Texas. I didn't really film me uh, the travel day down here, you know, me driving for 11 hours. Really isn't all that interesting, believe it or not. But. I'm with uh, Roberto. We are uh, we're gonna try to catch some fish today. I haven't, I feel like I haven't fished in like seven years, so I'm probably gonna probably gonna suck it up. But chilly. it's a little My chilly. Nipples are hard. Your nipples are hard. Yeah. Well, Rob's nipples are hard, and I'm ready to catch some fish. Yeah, There's one. one. I got one on. It's a flare fish. Don't worry, guys. Oh, it's a flare me, fish. You got me real excited. I was like, Rob, yeah. Rob's getting his GoPro on. I'm over here chucking the old chatterbait around, catching go. Nebraska brutes. <laughs> First fish you get in Texas. First fish. So I come to Texas, boys. <laughs> right there. It's gonna get, get that just slow, slow, cl cl slow clap for me. Big, big things out here in uh, in Texas. See Bubba. Didn't even get a chance to do really an intro since I've made it on the water. <laughs> I'm just Guys, uh, today on uh, Flandre Flare Outdoors, we're going to be fishing for fish. Yep. Oh, you're going to be fishing for fish. Yeah, that made a whole bunch of sense. That was the worst intro I could have done for somebody. Hey, guys, uh, let's try this again. Hey, it's Andrew Flare here. We're going to be out here throwing a chatterbait, maybe a frog, you know, since this is what I use in the wintertime in Nebraska. Well, as you guys can see, we're fishing. <laughs> 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 having, having a grand old time. Got the skunk out of the boat fairly early. It's good. <laughs> you got the skunk out in the third cast. Yeah, it's it's a good sign. It wasn't a big one. I'm after I'm after the big girls today, but you know I'll take what I can get for now. Feeling the gill, not feeling the shad. Yeah, I just caught something I know, but I'm feeling feeling the gill. Got to go with your instinct, folks. What are you throwing on, buddy? I think you're sticking with it. He's sticking with the chatterbait. Right chatterbait or die, dude. I think, I think but I'm just switching colors. So I made the switch, going going with the gill. I don't know. I'm just I'm just feeling the gill. I mean, it kind of blends with the water clarity. Not the brightest choice on my part, but just. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my... kind of blends it with the water a little bit. So I gonna... probably should have gone with the black and blue. Now that I think about it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give it five ten minutes and then go to black and blue. But for some reason I'm just, just feels like a gill type day. It's not real windy, so you know the shad aren't gonna be all you know freaking out and feeding. I think they're just gonna be kind of chilling. I'm switching to the old Stanko. Can't come to Texas, especially fishing in the Hello Kitty boat and not throw a Stanko. Rob's throwing everything. I've thrown the chatterbait, no, no more luck, so pitch this little guy around, see if I can catch more flare fish. So I'm throwing this little little crankbait. Rob, Rob over here has caught several fish. I think I've only caught one, really. On that chatterbait, I think I'm only caught that's that chatterbait. Really thing. That's only <laughs> I keep acting like I'm catching these fish, but it's really just you catching them. He keeps throwing this small little crankbait, and I just, I, for some reason, I'm just being stubborn, and I'm throwing this bigger one. Like, look, look how small this is. Like, baby, baby. Yeah, I, I have those, but not with me. So I'm throwing the bigger one in hopes that I catch a bigger fish, but giving it just about five more minutes is all. And uh, I'm gonna jump in Rob's tackle box and steal one and start going to work. My favorite ways to fish right here. Got him? Yep. <clears throat> down there. Come on, 14, buddy. Come on, buddy. 14 foot of water. Get over here. Go, Get over here, son. Get him. Woo! There you go. Finally, after what there. feels hours of not catching any fish, I picked up a little T rig. Look at that. Just barely, barely right in the corner of his mouth. Picked up the old T-Rig and uh, posted up. Caught ourselves a pretty, actually pretty decent fish for the day. We haven't caught too many big ones. See you, Freddy. You got one? So Rob called the shot on that one. As we're fishing this, this lake, we've been fishing pretty shallow so far and we uh, stumbled across a little bit of, a little bit of deeper water, 10 to 15 feet. So Rob suggested that we post up here and start casting into the deep water and voila, catch yourself a fish.
I don't know if you're going to be really good. Fish? Yes, fish. fish. Yes. Is it, a good one? it feels pretty good. I feel I'm I'm feeling pretty good. I'm going to I'm going to keep them down. I don't want to see them. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, he's he's coming in the boat, baby. Come here, buddy. Get a little a little momentum. There we go. Woohoo! I stole this bait from Rob and it's caught me a fish. It's money, it's kind of funny. I'm about to see, but see I gave you that one. And I want to see if I, I never caught anything on this color bait. Yeah, so, so gonna see if I can he's going to experiment. I'm just going to keep catching fish, trying to at least. There we go. That's a, that's another decent one. They're not not giants, but not babies. See you, Jackson. Jackson. I've caught some fish, caught quite a few fish. I think about, thinking about going, doing a little bit of finessing, a little finesse action. Put down the uh, bait caster, grab the finesse rod. As you guys can see, bluebird skies now lots of sunshine wind a lot of times when the when the clouds go off because usually when it's cloudy bass sometimes sometimes not all the time sometimes they'll move shallow and uh and they'll feed but now that it is not cloudy and it is sunny sometimes they doesn't mean they stop feeding but sometimes they may hug the bottom or hug some cover get some shade really depends on the time of the year you know i don't live in texas so i'm speaking on behalf of Nebraska, the Midwest, that type of stuff. But we're gonna keep on keep on grinding. Hopefully you guys are enjoying some actual fishing and actual fish catches. I feel like I haven't done this in forever. But we're gonna stay probably stick it out for a couple more hours. What, yeah, do, what, what, what are you throwing? What do you what do you, what are you gonna throw? I, I I'm thinking about throwing shaky head. There's a lot of fish down there. He's throwing a brush hog and I'm thinking shaky head. We're gonna yeah, we're gonna finesse these these fish into uh, into biting and getting them in the boat. There's one. Yeah. Yep. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Little one. Uh, he's fighting pretty good. He's just running towards me. Yeah, that's a good one. Not, bad. Not a bad one. Shaky hair fish. Here. Get up in here, boy. Ooh. Yeah, that's one of the better ones for me for the day. I've caught like three or four fish, and they're all about the same size. She's a little buck and a halfers, buck and a quarter. Decided to. Go a little finesse action on them. They were playing, playing kind of tough to get for a bit. The crankbait bite slowed down after the sun came out and the wind, wind calmed down. I think they just kind of stopped feeding heavy and now are just chilling. So we're throwing bottom baits, Texas rigs, shaky heads. Still catching some fish. See you later, Michael. Nah, little guy, little jokester wanted to wanted to play. I'm skiing him in. That's usually a sign that he's pretty much a, a donkey. Wow, stood. Get a little small fish action. Yep. Yeah, it's these. It's not very big. I mean, not like it's giant. Nah. No, baby. For just about 0 0.2 seconds, I thought I had a big. Another flare fish here. You guys see, shaky head. We're gonna have to make some moves. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to change it up. Cause I'm tired of catching the dinks. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Big in. Big in. Spit it right at the boat. Oh uh, my god. Oh, um, I was just about to grab my so camera. Big head. I know what big he was. Oh, 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 he was so big. I was just talking about we're trying to figure out how to get the big one. My oh, stomach. I kind of want to throw up a little bit. All right, that's it, folks. We're uh, wrapping up the day. I threw the jig the entire rest of the day. It is now 3 30. 3 30. I don't think I caught a jig fish. I, look at my I, did, I did my best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
it was a tough day. We're gonna end the day. We're gonna see uh, Perrick and John later on. So I'll probably pick up the camera some somewhere down yon. But for now, we're gonna we're gonna put the boat up on the trailer and get home. All right, guys, change of plans. You're not gonna see John B or Perrick. They're busy doing Perrick and John B things. So I'm gonna end the video here. Gonna spend few more days in Texas, hopefully catching some fish. If you guys are enjoying the fishing videos, leave a thumbs up, drop a comment down below, and peace. Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time then. I just been living online, my city don't show me no loving, that's fine.